The New York State Pyramid Model Implementation Data System, PIDS for short, is the first online platform for implementing programs to enter and view all data related to the pyramid model. Children, classrooms, and employees form the core of the data system and are all linked in specific ways. Classrooms are entered, and then children are enrolled individually and linked to those classrooms with specific assignment and leave dates to track when they enrolled in a classroom and when they left. In much the same way, employees are entered individually and linked to their classrooms with assignment and leave dates. These assignment and leave dates are used by the other forms in the system to help ensure that only valid data is entered. For example, when filling out a behavior incident report in the system, the date of the incident will determine what children and classrooms can be chosen by comparing the incident date to child enrollment and classroom assignment dates. In much the same way, the teapot's observation date determines what observers can be assigned to an observation by comparing the observation date to essential dates like the employee hire date and job function start date. This kind of date validation is used extensively in the system, and it helps minimize inconsistent values like a behavior incident dated before a child enrolled in a classroom. Not only that, but most fields are validated against being left blank in order to help ensure that the program has as much information as possible for analysis. Once information is in the system, there are a variety of built-in reports that are available to help programs perform analysis and make informed decisions. For example, the Benchmarks of Quality Change report shows the change in critical elements over yearly periods and can show how the program has improved over time. Many of these reports can be filtered by criteria in order to make the analysis more specific. A good example of this is the Child Demographic report. Running this report for the entire program is great, but being able to get more specific, like analyzing individual classrooms, can also be very helpful to programs. Also, each report comes with documentation to help users understand how the report calculates and displays information. The system also allows programs to utilize user roles to determine the level of access for different people. Data collectors are the main role for the application as they are responsible for managing all their program's information in the system. Data collectors are the only ones that are allowed to add, edit, and delete information. Detailed data viewers are able to see all the information for their program, including the details about forms, children, and etc., but they cannot add, edit, or delete any information. An example of a detailed data viewer would be the program's leadership coach or administrator. Aggregate data viewers are able to see all the dashboards and aggregate level reports for their program, but they cannot view details about forms and children and etc. Also, they cannot delete add or edit any information. Examples of an aggregate data viewer would be the program's teacher representatives, behavior specialists, classroom coaches, and other members of the leadership team. Lastly, we have a help and training page available to make using the system easier. The page includes training videos on how to use the system, frequently asked questions, and tips and tricks that should all help users understand the system more deeply. All of these training videos are accessible on YouTube by searching the, before the Pyramid Model Implementation Data System. And if a user still needs assistance after visiting the Help and Support page, they can contact support quickly and easily by using our ticketing system. And that's the New York State Pyramid Model Implementation Data System.